Okay guys, today's video is going to teach you how to set up this type of stabilizer which is right here. Okay, so this is the stabilizer I'm using recently and it's really light and it is very lower resistant. Okay, so uh, a lot of people don't recognize where this type of stabilizer comes from. Actually, it is modified from this item right here, the item number 15436, the large diameter stabilizer, 17 millimeter. Okay. So here's the one, okay. Um, this is the open package it looks like, okay. So let's wait first. So this one, the original one without a modifier, it is about 0.57 uh, gram, okay. Two of them is gonna be weight like one, 1 1.15 gram, okay. Okay, here's the two, um, the one I modify. So let's wait this two. So it is about two of them. It is uh, 0.37. So basically, we save about we're almost one grand. Okay. So here's the thing. Okay. So let me put on side. So next, uh, it is pretty simple. Actually, what you need it is just a, a plastic cutter, and using plastic cutter and follow the line, cut like this. Okay. So here's the line we're gonna cut. So just using plastic cutter, okay, lines up, make sure it's level, and slowly, slowly, okay, cut it. Same to the right here, so you can like this. It's gone. Same to here. So basically, just make a rectangle, okay like this then we're gonna using number 400 sandpaper and uh, sand up next to the even okay it's gonna be looks like this and then you also can fix a little bit edge right here and it makes it a little bit round and smooth and uh, let's see it again. Okay, so it's gonna be looks like this. Okay, so here's the thing. So we already have it like this. So here's the stabilizer just made. And for the setting of the stabilizer on top of the roller, actually, um, that's the next part I'm gonna talk about. It. Okay, for set up the stabilizer, this one right here, on top of roller, you have three options. Okay, first option it is. The highly recommend if you have this one right here this is the item number 94791 this is aluminum hex mount set okay this is very useful and i know it's really hard to find <clears throat> but this is best recommend okay if you don't have this one you also can use in this one this is the regular version this is the regular um uh, hex mount set the item number it is the item number one five three nine five. I'm sorry, I'm missing the original package, but this is the looks like. So actually, both of them are the same, same size. The only difference it is this one's aluminum, this is metal. Okay, so this one right here is very light. So let's see how much weight. So this one only point four forty uh forty four grand, and let's see the metal one. So basically you can see the metal one actually is triple the weight. So highly recommend using this one. But if no choice, you can use this one. And another option you have, it is this one right here. This is two millimeter cap screw, okay? The item number, it is 15454. And also I don't have the original package. And the package comes with uh, two size. One is 25, the other one was 30, okay? So this is the 30, okay? So here's three options. So I'm gonna do every single one um, to let you see the difference, okay? So first, I'm gonna using the best recommend, this one right here. So basically all you need to do, it is you have to using the, and this one right here, the 15 millimeter screw, okay? To put on it, and just like setting the uh, regular roller, make sure you're not using long screw because uh, for using this one you only need a little bit a little bit longer but not too long 
okay so make sure when you set up roller on top of school make sure the next one you're going to using a lock nut okay do not use a regular nut because regular nut is going to be loose getting loose later okay okay make sure lock really tight and then moving to the next so you can see we have about a millimeter uh, screw stick out and this is gonna be our uh, mount going to so it's gonna go like this okay so make sure you're using a nut driver to lock a little bit tight okay and the next we're gonna using this one right here this is um, about a millimeter um, screw and also make sure you're using this type of washer okay so this is a, a special washer which has come um, come from the package which is right here so you can see on this package there's two little special design washer because this type of washer they have a, a little bit um, special like a, um, rough surface and so give you can give you better grab when you set up the uh, stabilizer on top of that so next just using the eight millimeter screw right here and make sure using the special washer right here and the next just gonna put the top of that and using a screwdriver to lock it okay then adjust it to the position you want it and then go ahead next lock tight make sure it's really tight Okay, make sure after you finish check make sure the move so here's one okay in the next we're gonna using the two millimeter cap screw to set up the uh, stabilizer okay so cap screw actually make sure it's on the right mounting point okay then roller spacer okay then roller okay then roller spacer okay next we're gonna using a 12 millimeter aluminum spacer which is right here we're gonna put aluminum spacer right here and next we're gonna go again using the lock nut right here to lock the, the bottom first so I was always repeating it's very important to using lock nut because first thing lock nut is all most of lock nut the time you sell is aluminum it's really light okay and the second thing the lock nut can really lock everything really tight it's uh, it's uh, preventing it to get shaked off during the vibe um, during the race okay so it's really important to you all the time using lock nut okay so lock nut right here okay so make sure lock really tight okay so next we're gonna using that special washer again and set right here okay and set it and then set up the stabilizer on top of that so you notice this side is a bit lower this side is a bit higher so for the uh, it's really depends how high you want it if you want it a little bit higher you can put another spacer like three millimeter spacer so this is three millimeter spacer so you can so in this way you can raise the uh, stabilizer a bit higher Okay. but uh, make sure lock the bottom first okay so in this case at least the roller will be stable okay then you uh, starting to set up the um, stabilizer on top of that okay so like this and the next again we're gonna using a lock nut so make sure it's on the right position and I'm gonna go ahead and lock and then make sure it's really tight like this okay and then this one basically is the same as uh, the aluminum I'm using but the only difference this one again this one it is triple the weight okay so uh, if you have no choice you can go ahead using this one it's best recommend this is the most easiest way and this one is a little bit lighter and it's, it's more um, easy to use okay uh, right now we're gonna compare the difference on both system okay so the first one we're using the aluminum hex mount it is let's see the weight it is 
2.2 gram and the one we're using the aluminum spacer plus the two millimeter cap screw which is right here it is about 2.44 uh, gram so this one a little bit lighter okay so only um, 0.2 gram so it's so it's not, not really too bad okay okay so next and we're gonna talk about it um, I know this one it is very expensive and if you ask me if there's any alternative um, parts can uh, replace these two and it's lower cost and it is only option you have I think and then and another option you have it is this one right here this is the carbon fiber ring force um, rear double roller stay and three attachment points in item number 15412 and on this item actually you will see there's a little uh, 17 millimeter the stabilizer right here so this is the one we're gonna use same thing we're gonna using a plastic cutter to do the same cut like this okay same thing here Okay, and then I'm gonna cut the back. Okay, so it's come off. They fix the edges. So it's gonna be looks like this. Okay, so next just using sandpaper to sand it. Okay, so here's the part already cut off. It looks like this. Uh, next, the setting it is same. So you're gonna be replace this one right here. Okay, the only difference it is this one inks right here have a three millimeter um the hole right here so for this part uh you can using a two um the roller spacer which is this one right here let me give you a better angle you can see this is the roller spacer so put a one at the bottom and another one on the top like this okay and then using the A millimeter screw and go ahead put on top of that and lock it see it's gonna be same thing okay so this one actually because the carbon fiber reinforced gonna compare with the uh, Delron right here so this one for sure is last longer okay because what I noticed this one it is really expensive and um, uh, wrong couple couple time it's starting to you know um, getting uh, weird so this is the another option you have okay so setting it is same like like this one okay so only different it is this one cheaper and stronger okay but I'm personal still like this one because this one um, have very uh, small contact surface right here so it's really lower resistant especially when you have the uh, corner and this car with tail on the other side and this one and um, it can maintain a really fast speed okay so it's 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 you're not gonna see too much different but uh, it's really up to you so uh, if you have um, money you can using this one and this is another way Okay, so both systems basically works uh, almost same thing. So it's really up to you. So this is two options you have. Okay, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment.